Hi, and welcome to my review of Sufferfest. I'm only new to this indoor training thing, but I thought I would jump straight on and record something about Sufferfest after my first session, just to give a bit of a play around what I thought about it, my first impressions. I've done a few sessions on Zwift, but I did this one on Sufferfest today, and I loved it. Here are a few things that I think are good and bad about it. First of all, the setup's not quite as intuitive as Zwift, but it's not that hard either. When you know what you're doing, what devices you have to set up, heart rate monitor, trainer, um, that's about it. It was a lot easier to set up my uh, power crank on my bike as the cadence meter though. I still haven't figured that out on Zwift. Um, the videos you watch are real life videos, hence why I'm wearing the Alperson kit. Today's race that I chose was the 2015 Classics and Alperson was in the race, so I thought that was a little bit of fun. The videos are real, like some part of getting excited about seeing, sitting in the peloton, sitting in the line, driving downhill, cornering. Um, I found that part to be really entertaining and quite exhilarating. It felt a little bit real on the big screen, sitting in front of it. And also the music, the music was quite upbeat. It's not like that dull music that's on, on Zwift. To choose your training session on the Sufferfest, you're going to have to do a little bit of research. Like there's a fair few training sessions on there, which is good. It's great for variety. Some of which don't have the videos, which just is a boring screen with a flat line and some heart rates and powers to achieve. So I'm not sure I get the point of those, but the ones with the videos are awesome. There's so many you can choose from the different races, the different capabilities that you're trying to test, that you're trying to improve. I couldn't recommend anyone trying it anymore. 14 day free trial, get stuck into it. The workouts on Sufferfest are very individual. Like there's no companion app like there is on Zwift, so you can't talk to your mates. And while the music and the video really helps you get into it, I found that the, the kilometers that you got for the effort that you put in for the 42 minute session I did, I only did 20 kilometers. And considering some of that was meant to be at race pace, we hit 60 kilometers an hour. There wasn't a lot of climbing going on in what we were doing. 20 kilometers seemed to be not much of a return for that 42 minutes, but that might be just me. And whilst the music was great and the videos were great, like I really got into it, that big screen and sitting in, I really enjoyed it. But I think they overdo the bit on the suffering. I mean, I know it's called Sufferfest and I know a little bit of suffering is going to get us better and a lot of suffering is gonna get us a lot better, but they really overplayed it and I thought it was a bit too much. But after getting so far into it and so hyped by the music, it's awesome. So I have found a code that will get you an extra few weeks of free after the first 14 days expires. So check in the notes below. Don't forget, if you like this, switch on notifications. If you haven't seen my review on Zwift as a newbie, it's a newbie review, certainly no expert review, go have a look at that as well. I look forward to seeing you again. Thanks for listening.